In the previous video, we set up our weapon base class and created a 1911 class derived from it, as well as the blueprint version, allowing us to simply set all of the basic info that we need, such as the mesh, animations, max ammo, magazine ammo, and that sort of thing. So now we are going to move on to our character and making some changes to it so it at least uses our see so at least it will use our new fps arms and probably in the next video we will actually be setting up the animations so we're going to be setting up the arms and just a basic way to have the weapon attached to our well just an array of weapons essentially so in our nazi zombie character.h what we're going to do is See, where do I want to move this? Let's go to our base class. So, character base.h. Ah, here's the CVP. I was being blind as a bat. Things we want to do we want to first get rid of the first person gun. We can get rid of the muzzle location. Get rid of the gun offset. Get rid of the projectile class, fire animation, and fire sound. And I'm going to leave the function on fire. Right, so now in our CPP, let's go over to our constructor. Get rid of everything relating to FP gun, all the way to gun offset. Get rid of the attached to for the weapon. Well, actually, we can. Yeah, I'm going to comment this out for now. Okay. So, in our input, we have all that set. And on fire, what I'm going to do is I'm going to empty it so there's nothing in it. I believe we ever wrote it in here. Yes, we did. So now we need to kind of think about how we want to set up our weapons. So I want to do this in our base class. I want to go under our first person camera component. I'm going to create a, let's see here. It's going to be a reference to our weapon base. So we're going to do class A. Weapon base, it's going to be a pointer. Call this one current weapon. I wanted to create a integer, so int 32. And let's call it weapon index. Make sure to set that to zero for start. Then we're going to create a T array of type a weapon base. Call this one. Uh, let's see, weapon, and yeah, we'll just call it weapon array. Not going to be too creative with the names. Then we have weapon index. I'm going to go ahead and set it to zero in the constructor. All right. And I'm going to create a U property. going to be just like this, so Nazi zombie settings for the category and such. It's going to be class A weapon base. I'm going to call this one starting weapon, like so. And let's see, I'm going to want this to be blueprint class, so T subclass of a weapon base. I'm going to change it to starting weapon class, like so. Then in begin play, I'm going to move that comment, make my own, spawn weapon using starting weapon class, attach 
spawn weapon to socket. Now let's figure out what that socket name was. So S underscore weapon socket. Like so. And let's see, I'm trying to think. I think that's pretty good for now. I want to go ahead and confirm that I, eh, we can go ahead and try to spawn it, I guess. So let's go ahead and try to spawn it. But first, we need to include the weapon base class in our character base, like so. Include weapon base dot h. Go to here starting with yeah starting with a class. We're gonna do if a weapon base weapon equals let's see get world spawn actor class gonna be a weapon base. Gonna be starting weapon class. I don't have to worry about like any of the transforms or anything. Then we're going to attach it. So we're going to do weapon attached to component. It'll be our first person mesh. Then we're going to pretty much snap it. So F attachment transform rules. Snap to target including scale. Then the socket name, so F name, which was S underscore weapon socket. And I want to create a comment. Spawned and attempted to attach weapon to hand. We're gonna to do some changes here as well. This is gonna cause some issues. We no longer need our first person gun. I think that was actually the only thing that we referenced that we needed to remove. All right, let's see how it goes. Let's look at our player class character base. Mesh first person. I set this to FPS arms. I have to reset the location and rotation. We're going to alter the Z by 90, or no, negative 90. File and save, and that should give us a good position there. And we should have a couple options starting weapon class, BP weapon 1911. And let's see, was that all? Which brings up the next question. Is this a zombie? Oh, derp. I mean to actually do it to this class. I was thinking that was the zombie class for some reason. So it's our BP underscore Nazi zombie character class. We're just going to do the exact same thing. And set the Starting weapon class to 1911. Okay. 
out of curiosity. Oh, let's see the uh, make sure it's not using any of the animation blueprints. Okay, it actually removed it for us. So let's see what breaks. All right. Uh, report F8 to eject. And we have our 1911. It's attached to the socket as well as we have our hands. So that is working as intended. Oh, actually, yeah, it uh, spawned and attempted to, you know, blah, blah, blah. So that's all being set up in our character base class. And in our Nazi zombie character class, let's see, what is set interactable object? What did that do? All right, that's the little loopy doop there, which all still works just as fine. So I know this is probably running a little long like the last one, but we now have our first person weapon. I accidentally pressed my uh, stop record button when I meant to press F8 to eject. But as I was saying, we now have the base set up for our first person. And up next, we will begin setting up the base animations so that way we can kind of see just a more natural, just just so it's a little more, more natural for testing, as well as we can actually start having the shooting come from the weapon. So now that all this is out of the way, I will see you in the next one where we begin setting up the animations. So I'll see you then.